Okay, good morning, guys. Just trying to give you a quick rundown of kind of the nuances since we're not here with you the first time. Uh, all the nuances of the house. So when you walk up, when you first get here, whichever tank the, uh, the cables are hooked up to, just go ahead and counterclockwise open the valve and that way you'll have propane for cooking, heating, water, all that other stuff. Uh, obviously the gates are already open, so we're just gonna go in. And I wanna point out a couple things. We already started putting things away, but uh, <clears throat> down here, you have a whole slew of cooler cups. <clears throat> right now we got a couple of them up here on the kitchen counter, but uh, you don't wanna do anything with a uh, bottle of water or with a bottle of water, you just take the lid off, throw your bottle of water in it. But if you have a beer bottle or a can, they'll fit inside it and that'll, that'll actually stay cold for probably an hour and a half, really cold. And uh, if you don't do that, your, your beer and drinks or whatever will be warm in about 10 minutes. There's also a bunch of little cups here. They look like sippy cups, but these are 10 ounce cups. You can use this for your coffee, for your juices, whatever. We use this for about 99% of what we drink. Uh, and again, those will keep all the uh, condensation from happening and your drinks will stay warm for a couple hours or cold, whichever you want. Coffee maker. Coffee maker is right here. Uh, here is the reservoir. This whole, get the lid on backwards. When you come in, the power is gonna be off. The switch is in the back left. You just simply flip the switch. Uh, you're gonna need to fill it, so you pinch these two areas and then lift up and then carry it over and, and get your, your uh, water. On the counter, we got, actually this is a uh, stove grease. It's an old Folgers coffee can. That is usually right underneath the counter. And then also this is right underneath the can counter. What this is, is down here you want to, if you're gonna do any kind of cooking with fruits and vegetables, <clears throat> excuse me, you're gonna wanna get a large bowl, pour two capfuls of this in it, and then fill it with water, and then put all your, your fruits and vegetables in there because you need to clean it. They don't sanitize or, um, put any chemicals on their, their fruits down here. Other thing is the refrigerator is, uh, the ice and the water that come out is fresh water. It's down the bottle is a your five gallon, like a sparklets bottle is connected to a pump. So that's it there. Basically if that thing runs low, right now it's over three quarters full. You just pull the lid off, pull it out, pull the tube out, slide a new tank in there and then put the tube back in and you are done. That's it. Special, nothing hard. Uh, one thing that's kind of funny that we should probably point out is the light switches. All these lights, these lights, these lights, these big round ones, have dimmer functions where you can, and here's the switch for the kitchen. You can turn them off and then turn them back on and then you have mood lighting. Actually, it's probably really good that you do that in the evenings so you don't attract all the bugs. But for now, we need this for this area. All right, uh, hot water pump. Actually, the water, the water pressure is pretty low here, so every time you turn the water on, you're gonna hear this loud humming noise. Hopefully you can hear that. That is a water pump kicking in. So don't worry about that. That's just a pump to build up the pressure. All right, uh, light switches actually. So I teach that light switch is right there. The, the uh, Palapa lights are attached to this light out here for the hallway. And that switch is located right over there next to the blender. And you can do the same thing. You can dim this one by turning it on, then turning it off and then turning it right back on. And then one last light switch that some people have a hard time finding is the hallway lights. Light switch is right in there. All right, sorry, I'm bouncing all over the place. We're in a little bit of a hurry, but uh, normally we don't leave a fan out here, but uh, we keep all the fans in that back cave area, but there is an extension cord back here to the fan and just pull that out while you guys are sitting here and watching TV or whatever, you're probably gonna want that fan on you in, in July. Uh, we've only had them out here a couple times, June and uh, 
uh, July this this year we pulled them out otherwise we just don't normally have them and then the fan switches lights and the remote are all inside the couch and we do have air conditioning in this room which is mimosa and then that far left room just past the ivy uh, sangria both of those have air conditioning units and we usually set everything when we go to bed or if we want to escape from the day we set everything at 18 celsius i think that's about 68 degrees and even though there's open vents and all that other stuff uh it keeps it really cool all right uh barbecue and propane so uh, the you can just pull off we haven't put the normally when we show up the barbecue cover is still on you can just yank that off there's a propane tank in there uh, if you run out of propane there is another propane tank in here underneath this little opening and vice versa you can exchange that one for over here if you were using the table and, they, and it's out of propane and then if you would this at the end of your stay there is a plug right there in the corner for that waterfall if you could just uh, empty that out as best you can, the, the, the top bowls, just splash them down to the bottom and then unplug it. That's pretty much it. And I think the very last thing, which hopefully I got everything on my list, is Nana, taking care of Nana and and giving her a tip. Uh, we've got some envelopes here. Just grab one. If you're gonna leave any kind of note for her, her name is Nana, N-E-N-A. Uh, but if you would just put your money here and just leave it on the counter because that's the first place she comes and checks for notes from us. Other than that, I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoy it. And don't worry about calling or texting. We can help out uh, um, whenever you call. Thanks. Have fun.